So one of my favorite things about uh, Dragon OS is all the different pieces of software in there. Uh, I, I like to figure out ways to use them all together and uh, so that's that's what this video is going to kind of be about although you probably would use it need to be using a couple pieces of software to make this happen anyways but uh, DSD FME you can see Florida Man Edition digital speech decoder um, I I've shown a video or probably a couple videos in the past about using a, a wine app image to run uh, DSD uh, plus I think it is uh, for uh, that's normally like Windows based and um, I think GR DS, DSD I've used that and then uh, in SDR Angel uh, I've used the the DSD that's built into there but uh, this this is like somebody brought this to my attention it's fairly newer I think I, I didn't look back at the late or the first um, commit uh, but really really awesome how it combines uh, so many so many different things here whether you're um, putting audio in via uh, like the pulse audio mixer or virtual audio cable or SDR++ with a network sync or even uh, which I've not tried yet but uh, just from an RTL SDR uh, directly uh, seems like a lot of different options and a lot of different things that um, it's capable of doing. I'm just going to focus on DMR because I have an IQ file to do this. I uh, don't really have DMR right around here and the P25 is like encrypted so that wouldn't be really worthwhile. So anyways, uh, if you've got the latest Dragon OS Focal X, DSD FME is already in uh, the build but uh, I put it in before the most recent changes so uh, what you want to do is um, just go in to uh, what I left there which is the user source DSD FME uh, build directory probably just good practice um, uninstall uh, what is there um, unfortunately I didn't leave all the git history uh, to do a pull uh, that's my fault so if we just remove that DSD FME and we come over to the uh, GitHub page here, which has been a pretty big change. I had used the Pulse Audio branch, which you can see uh, about two days ago. There's a tag there left if you want to do that, but a lot has been merged into the main branch, so the Pulse Audio branch is no more. Uh, main branch uses Pulse Audio and has a whole bunch of new things in it, so uh, yeah, just grab the latest. I'll do a sudo git clone. And to, to do this video, I, I have a HackRF that's going to um, transmit the IQ file, and then I have a Noelic uh, a V5 uh, that I, actually it's the first one I've I've got. I've got that plugged in, and that's what we're going to use to receive. So, anyways, let's change into DSD FME. I'll make a um, just like we pretty much do in a lot of things here. We'll make a build directory, change into it. And um, do a sudo cmake. Uh, everything that you need is already um, built into a Dragon OS. And then we can even do a sudo make install sudo ld config just in case. Um, anyways, everything should be in place. Uh, a couple things I'll point out is um, there's an examples directory which has. Uh, a pretty good readme and a script there for trunking. Uh, I've not tried that yet. And then uh, we'll come to this later because uh, I always forget what you need for the virtual sync. So there's a nice script there for the uh, for the virtual sync. Okay, so that should be pretty much all we need uh, there uh, at the moment. <clears throat> if you jump over to SDR Play's website and just look up these IQ files, just scroll down you're going to find somewhere down here some IQ files I just grabbed the uh, DMR file which is uh, comes out as a wave file when it is unzipped which I've got sitting here in the directory it's got a dot wave file uh, but I need or I want to convert that wave file to a dot raw file so I can transmit it with the GR Osmo SDR block 
So let me think here. So wave to raw, I think, was the uh, flow graph uh, that I've put together here. Just found a fairly simple example online of taking a wave file source. I've got it uh, repeat, no, coming out to the float to complex into a throttle. I just put it uh, 2E6. Up here and the file sync I dumped on here left pretty much everything as it is and just put uh, an output file which is this test.raw you see here on the uh, desktop and then I put the frequency sync and just centered it all on 434 um, megahertz uh, just so I could well, really, that probably wasn't that necessary, but just so that I can see the progress of the file as it is writing to the file sync, and then I'll know when it's done. So, all right, so if I run it, that's what it looks like. Give it a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll come back. I'm going to let it play through, and then I'll, I'll come right back. All right, I'm back. I can see that the activity has stopped, so I'm going to go ahead and kill the flow graph. I'll stop that. So now I know that uh, I have what I need in that uh, .raw file. So if I open up another flow graph here, uh, I have just dropped a file source. Uh, we can repeat it is fine. I have it on repeat. And then um, I did the frequency sync on 434 megahertz, 433 megahertz on the Osmocom sync. Uh, just to like specify exactly what we want to use, because I do have the uh, Noelic plugged in too. We can stick hack RF equals zero in there. Uh, the sample rate is at that two e6 two meg, and then. Uh, IF gain, BB gain, you can adjust if needed, um, raising it. Um, so now we should be set there to to transmit this uh, over to the V5. So let's try it first with just SDR++. I'll have to change some of the settings because I had it set up for uh, trying to receive some weather stuff. You can see we've got the RTL SDR, leave pretty much everything default. I come down, I've got it on uh, narrowband FM. And I'm just checking any of my other settings. What we're, what we're going to want to do is we're going to change the uh, radio to network. And uh, normally that's on localhost, and that's fine. I just was testing out something else. I changed it to TCP, and um, that's what we're going to use to send this audio over to DSD FME. So we will get this up into 400 or so, and then um, we're going to start the flow graph, and we'll transmit this file. <clears throat> so I recall from before, even though it was at 434, it's about 4227 is where we'll probably see the uh, transmission here. Go ahead and kick this off. So we, that's transmitting. Come over here. So I have. You're not going to hear any sound right now because I have it uh, going out of the network. And let me just check. Stop that for a second. Uh, yep, okay. So we'll play. Now we can open up, uh, and I, 
I know there's a lot of windows going on here. Let's see how best can we do this. All right, so we pull up DSD FME dash H for help. Uh, there's a lot of uh, options and examples there. I am just looking for the end curse example here for uh, a terminal that's a little easier to see what's going on, and then dash I uh, dash I space uh, TCP should be fine. All right, so we've got our interface going here, and let's go over a little bit. Okay, and let's go ahead and start our um, network down here. Okay, there we go. So we can hear that that's playing and how well that plays, uh, and how uh, easy that is to to get set up there. So now let's try. Uh, let's see. Let's try with a, a different uh, interface and uh, and the um, virtual audio syncs. So close out SDR plus uh, plus. We can leave this going for a minute. Uh, let's see. Let's go into our user source DSD. And so if you cat out or just look at that virtual sync, there's the pack MD commands. It should it's gonna make actually two virtual syncs in this case. We should just be able to do a uh, SH virtual sync. And now we should see under our mixers those virtual syncs there so basically virtual audio cable all right so we've got that set up let's pull up something else here let's pull up uh, some favorites here and so we'll go down and change it uh, over to the RTL SDR uh, this is fine two two and two let's see Override, actually, let's see. Override, take that override off. Two, two. Let's go ahead and save that. Actually, you know what? Also, I uh, should point out you can um, enable an OpenGL based waterfall and uh, click on some of these other options, but you do have to close it. Um, you have to close it for those settings to be saved, and then you can uh, open it back up. And it'll make the waterfall, the FFT, uh, a little, uh, uh, look uh, quite a bit better. We'll put this on FM, and uh, we'll have a baseband audio preview. And we'll go back over to uh, 435. Okay. 
Something pretty cool here that's been added with the, is this lock to current frequency. So you can go off and do other things and it's still locked on there and that audio inspector is uh, still locked on there and you can still you can go open other other inspectors on other frequencies and uh, start digging into them. So let's try this now though. Uh, we need to check out the mixer. Let's change it to like We'll try virtual sync two. Okay, everything else I think looks all right. And if we start DSD back up, we shouldn't need that dash I. Let's try this out. We'll go out of that directory and just into our home directory. Let's see, and now let's tell DSD to look at that virtual sync too. Let's see, we got that, we got that. Oh, playback, my bad. So recording, we want to look at virtual sync too. And playback, we'll put on Nah, virtual sync two. We'll put this on. So there we go. So there you go. Okay, so now you can see we have um, both ways of doing it, whether it's through the network sync in uh, SDR++ or out a uh, virtual sync or virtual audio cable into other applications or for other applications like SigDigger here um, or GQRX or, uh, or Cubic SDR uh, use as, as you see fit. Uh, but uh, that's, I mean, that's pretty much what I... I wanted to show just using uh, several of these programs together and um, hope to learn more about this uh, DSD FME and all its uh, capabilities. All right, thanks.